Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1970 Seattle Pilots What If Scenario. Today's matchup is between the Seattle Pilots and the Baltimore Orioles at Memorial Stadium. On the mound for the Pilots today is Dave Leonard, whose record is 0-1 with a 2.57 ERA. And pitching for the Orioles is Mike Cuellar, whose record is 0-1 with a 3.68 ERA. Okay, another one run loss yesterday. We lost one to nothing. Uh, we had a shot to get on the board, and I don't know. I, I guess I made the wrong decision. We had our pitcher on second base after a base hit, uh, and he had moved along to second. And on another single, we thought it would be a good idea to send him home with only one out, and uh, he was gunned down at the plate. And that was like our only real opportunity to get on the board, and uh, we lost one to nothing. It was just another really frustrating game as we dropped a one and six. And today we have Dave Leonard facing his old teammates, um, so that will be an interesting storyline. Uh, if if we take a look at the standings really quick here, I noticed earlier as I was setting up for the pregame. The entire American League is only batting 232. So it's not like our team at batting 203 is so horrible. I mean, we're right there with some of the worst teams uh, in the American League. If the average is 232, um, you know, it's you know, we, we have some ground to make up, but it's not like we're the worst team uh, in the American League. We are hitting home runs, which is nice. Uh, most of those came on our three-game homestand prior to this Orioles series. So I do think the games at home, at the very least, are going to have a lot of long balls. Um, and that might be the one thing to keep us entertained. But I'm not quite ready yet to pull the trigger uh, on any trades because uh, our team might come around here uh, with that 203 batting average. The only way we can go is up. So I think we just need to show a little patience. And uh, maybe by the end of the month, we can get somewhere closer to 500, you know, and then go from there. So that's my thoughts on our one and six start. Um, we do have a six game homestand once we finish up this four game series. So maybe that'll give us a shot to uh, put things together. Okay, let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel. Uh, I, there is no baseball card video today. Uh, but if you missed yesterday's video, which was kind of like the supplement uh, to Thursday's video, which was great. Uh, yesterday's video was even better. Uh, we actually pulled some really great rookie cards in there. Uh, and a Willie Mays card. I'll just give you a little uh, a little bit of information. A little, little spoiler alert. Okay. Uh, we got Dave Leonard. So anyway, that video will be at the end of this uh, uh, video here today. So Dave Leonard getting the start against his old team. All the bullpen is available. And then our lineup versus the lefty, Mike Cuellar. I think this is our best lineup. And ironically, our best rated player is on the bench. But I think that... From what we've seen so far, these are the players who have the best chance to give us a victory. Um, so we'll see how that we'll see how that works. I did all the uh, the math. I think that's this is how we're going to win today. <laughs> so let's go ahead and do that lineup rundown for the Pilots. Batting leadoff in center field is Tommy Ag. Batting second at second base is Gary Sutherland. Batting third at third base is Rich Rollins. Batting cleanup, playing first base is Darren Johnson. Batting fifth in right field is Bill Robinson. Batting sixth in left field is Lou Pinella. Batting seventh in catching is Clay Dalrymple. Batting eighth at shortstop is Freddie Patek. And batting ninth is the pitcher Dave Leonard. Okay, Mike Cuellar, Cuban pitcher, lefty. He won the Cy Young Award in real life in 1969. Uh, this is not his record. This is our sim. 
Uh, he won 23 games that year. 23 and 11 is what he went in real life, uh, winning the Cy Young. In 1970, he actually had a better year. He went 24 and 8 with a 3.48 ERA and 190 strikeouts. There were three pitchers that year, including the pitcher who won the Cy Young Award, Jim uh, Jim Perry, who uh, won 24 games, including his teammate Dave McNally, which we just saw yesterday. So Cuellar finished fourth in the Cy Young voting in 1970. You'll see he's making his second start of the season. 0-1 oh, with that 3.68 ERA. Six strikeouts in seven and a third innings pitched. Doesn't have much of a fastball. Tops out at 88 miles an hour. Ground ball percentage is 48.9%. There's five pitches in his arsenal. The screwball is his best pitch. It's rated an 89. That fastball is an 81. Overall rated an 85. The 32-year-old left-hander is a free agent at the end of next year. Here's the defense for the... Orioles. Uh, it is the well, Brooks Robinson is at third base. So third base is uh, on lock now with Robinson. We got Davy Johnson at second. And Rico Petroselli, who played second base yesterday, moves to his natural position at short. So they are mixing it up a little bit as Frank Robinson now goes to right field. All right, so there's a lot going on. Oh, wow, Frank Robinson is a 68. And Willie Starchill's a 77. But that infield is really great. And, of course, Hendricks behind the plate. Okay, here we go. Tommy Ag leading off. He's got a couple home runs in his career versus Cuellar. And he'll take a walk to start off the ball game. I have no idea. My instincts right now are poor. Because I want to run. But we have a lefty on the mound. Um, but we're not able to drive in runs on our own. So, like, do I lay down a bunt? Do I let Gary Sutherland swing away? Which I think is what we're going to do. Uh, we oh, Also, we have the uh, yellow and baby blues going on today for our uniforms. There's a high fly ball into left field. Now I think we will steal second base. 71% chance of success. We'll find out. AG's going right in the middle. And he does steal second base. Good job. That is his third of the season. He's three out of four. And we have a runner in scoring position for Rich Rall. Rollins is off to a bad start, but I, I trust him. I think he'll get around to doing something good for us as he taps it back to Cuellar. At the very least, it gets A.G. to third. 90 feet away for Darren Johnson. Let's see if we can get that first run in. 1-1 one, one count. And a home run to left center field. There we go. Johnson's second home run of the season. It's 2-0 Seattle. At any point this year, have we had the lead? Other than the game we won, I suppose? I don't. It doesn't feel like it. Okay, here's Bill Robinson. He's the one player who's having a good year so far. You have that two home run game and a ground ball to second. We'll end the inning. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's take a closer look at the Orioles lineup rundown. Batting leadoff in center field is Mac Jones. Batting second. At first base is Joe Torrey. Batting third in right field is Frank Robinson. Batting cleanup and catching is Elrod Hendricks. Batting fifth in left field is Willie Stargell. Batting sixth at shortstop is Rico Petroselli. Batting seventh at second base is Davey Johnson. Batting eighth at third base is Brooks Robinson. And batting ninth is the pitcher Cuellar. Okay, Dave Leonard gets the start. Pitched, I think, fairly well. In his pilot's debut, he went seven innings, giving up two runs on six hits. Three walks, five strikeouts. His fastball uh, is his worst pitch. It tops out at 88 miles an hour. He is a ground ball pitcher. He throws a lot of the soft stuff. stuff. It's 54.9% uh, of the time. The changeup, that is his out pitch. It's rated an 86. You see the curve in the fastball below league average. 
overall rated a 78, which is below league average. The 29-year-old righty is arbitration eligible at the end of the year. So we'll have a decision to make on him. Here's our defense. Again, that right side of the infield, not great, folks. Below league average at all three positions. Everywhere else, we're solid. Um, behind the plate today, we have Dalrymple, who should be a couple steps up from McNerty, but we haven't seen it yet. Okay, left-handed batter, Mac Jones leading off. Oh, it's the orange and uh, black combo for the Orioles today. I like that uniform style. And Mac Jones will pop it up. So this must be the third jersey at home since it's not all white. Very cool. One down. I, you know, I, I do, like for, um, if you ever, I'm sure you've never even asked yourself this, but every season I do check the uniforms against the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame uniform guide to make sure that the uniforms do match uh, the actual year in which we're playing. Obviously, the Pilots is the only team that I created my own uniforms for since it's our second year and we didn't even exist anymore. So we're, we're all into merchandising right now. Okay, one, two count to Joe Torrey and a base hit the left. There's the first hit for the Orioles. Torrey batting 406. Off to a hot start. Now here's Frank Robinson. He had the day off yesterday. And a full count. And Leonard strikes out his old buddy. First K for Leonard. And two down. As the catcher, Elrod Hendricks, steps in. Hendricks seems like an odd guy to have in your cleanup role. When you have Stargell and Robinson and Robinson. And Petroselli. And hell, even Davey Johnson had 40 home runs one year. Joe Torre, even, you could have there. He's a batting champ. We get through the inning. We go to the uh, top of the second inning with Sweet Lou leading off. Lou has not been smelling so sweet. We dropped him down to sixth in the lineup today. And there's a line drive, unfortunately, right at the first baseman, Torrey. For out number one. Here's our catcher, Clay Dalrymple. He's struggling. Intentionally walked. Not intentionally walked, but yeah, out of the zone. Kind of in the same spot. So maybe Cuellar was trying to uh, pick that upper corner there. Just couldn't get it done. Now, gosh, I kind of want to hit and run, but Patek, not a good contact hitter. So we're going to swing away with the pitcher up next. And a comeback. Well, that could be a double play. Nope. Patek beats out the double play. He's got great speed, but cannot steal a base to save his life. So we're going to let Dave Leonard swing away. And just kind of throw this inning in. He has another ground ball back to the pitcher. It's absolutely ridiculous how much that happens in this game. We go to the bottom of the second inning. And it is last year's MVP in the American League, Willie Stargell leading off. Stargell rips it down the right field line for a double. Did he lead the American League in doubles last year? Uh, maybe not. That is his first double of the season. And leadoff man in scoring position. Here's Rico Petroselli and a base at the left. So it is now 2-1. to one. Oh, Stargell. Why is Stargell not scoring on that? We will play back for the double play. Since we have the lead, you can sacrifice uh, a run for a potential double play. It's Davy Johnson in a 1 2 count. He takes strike three looking. Now a double play gets us out of it, and the pitcher spots up next. I will pull third base in. I know Robbins is not going to lay down a bunt, but if it's a ground ball to third, we can hold that runner. I don't know why I use actual baseball strategy in this game, but I, that's just the way my brain works. And it's a three-run home run. It does not matter. Three to two, Baltimore. That's Brooks's first home run. He's, in fact, he's two for two on the year. Maybe we should have just walked him. 
And a base hit for Cuellar, who batted 129 last year. Mac Jones strikes out. And Joe Torrey pops it up to third. Rollins drops it. Four to two. Top of the third. This is going to be a long season, guys. I think I better start giving shit away quickly before the viewership drops off. <laughs> I mean, I'm ready to drop off. Hey, the good job by Sutherland. He's been a nice surprise. He had a good year for us last year. Um as a fill-in well not even a fill-in what really happened is we did uh, do a platoon but he didn't really get a shot out of the gate um, we had other players playing second base and none of them worked out and at the end he just started hitting so well batting over 300 we had to give him the role he had earned it Bottom of the third. Rico Petroselli. So he's walked, he struck out three batters, and now he's walked three in less than an inning's work. Make it four. Make it five. Yeah, so much for being a ground ball pitcher, right? 55%. This game is so dumb. So stupid on every level. Second and third, two down. Here's Mac Jones. Line drive to right. Oh, did it get down? Oh, no, it's going to be caught by the right fielder, Robinson. Bill Robinson, good job. We go to the top of the fourth inning with Robinson leading off. It's 4-2 to two, Baltimore. I mean, that is more than enough runs to win this ball game. Of course, we did score two runs in the first. So you know we will not score it again until maybe like the eighth or the ninth. They might give us a junk run. It'll, it'll be four to three. Yeah, we're just pushing buttons. It don't matter. Joe Torrey with another hit. Frank Robinson, two-run home run. That is Frank Robinson's third home run of the year. Six to two. Go to the top of the fifth. Rico Petroselli. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought that was the end of the inning. I'm actually not much watching right now. I'm just pushing the button. There's really nothing else we can do. We're being two hit. Is that gonna fall in? Well, that'll probably do it for our pitcher. Leonard, I think we've seen enough from him. He got us five. Brooks Robinson makes an error. This game is so terrible. Jeez. I mean, obviously, Brooks Robinson made probably several hundred errors in his career. But it, it just it doesn't make sense why it would have it happen in that scenario, you know? All right. Um, hmm. We'll bring in Brabender, who's been pitching really okay. 
so far this year. He just won an inning. Ground ball to third. Frankie Robinson. Yeah. It don't matter. Well, I'll get a couple more in. Run scored and then a strikeout because that's the way the game is designed. So stupid. Two strikeouts and then a home run by a pinch hitter. And then Tommy Agee gets an infield single. I mean, what kind of a moron created this game? All right. Run, lock it down. Pinch hitter, Andy Echebarren, known for his eyebrows touching. He's a unibrow. Ten to three. And then strike out after the home run, of course. Hell, give him another. L. Severinsen. He was a rookie last year in our sim. Wow, not good. ERA over four? More walks than strikeouts? He should be on our team. Rich Raw. He struck out every batter. Every every one he got out was a strikeout. Despite giving up three home runs. Alright. Um I mean, we are playing a really good team and with a really good pitcher. So, you know, I didn't expect a win today. I just don't expect the game to... Well, that's not even true. I always expect the game to do something stupid. Um, this is where we're going to get our junk run. We'll bring in... Uh, Mike Keegan with one out. Yeah, we're we're going to get our jump run right here. There it is. And Rollins on a 3 1 count. Down six, he swings. That would just unbelievably stupid. Okay, well, we're one and seven. The game is simulating. Maybe there's a trade offer. I have everybody available. Nobody wants anyone on our team. We are unloved right now. Yep. I'll let you in on a secret, actually. Um, I am getting a Brainiac Baseball uh, apparel line going. Uh, and it should be up and running here, I hope, within a week. And it'll just be clothing that you can buy with, um, you know, our logo on there. But I was thinking of trying to find a way to get, like, our alternate Seattle Pilots colors 
onto like a long sleeve tee or something. I don't think I can use the logo. Uh, I know I can't use the logo, but um, I think it might be kind of fun. So I'm working on that right now. That's that's the next little project that uh, I have going when I'm not doing regular work. There's our standings. We are pathetic. We have the second most home runs in the American League, and yet we're barely over the Mendoza line. All right. I mean, we're four and a half back already, and we're going to face Oakland in the following series. The Padres, the other expansion team, one of the other expansion teams, is one and eight. They're not good. Cincinnati has not lost yet. Wow. All right. Headline news. Brainiac Baseball Daily Brief. Billy Parker. Had four hits. As Cleveland beats the Yankees. Okay. I'm seeing Parker in the Angels uniform. I'm like, I, I don't think he's still on the Angels. And Baltimore. Transaction. Uh, nothing. Oh, damn it. I got to change that. I got to remember to do that. Okay. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Wow. One and seven. And we are not looking good. I don't think we are going to win the division <laughs> this year. I'm going out on a limb. And I'm going to say that. We had seven hits today. Three were extra base hits. We left another eight runners on. Um, at least the error by Rich Rall um, was one unearned run. Brubaker and Ron Locke. We had eight walks to go with those ten hits. Yeah, we just have some really bad players um, who got lucky last year and have offered us nothing this season. Brooks and Frank and Joe all had home runs. Mike Cuellar gets his first win. He's 1-1. One one. Player of the game, I forgot to mention, uh, is going to be Darren Johnson. He had a second home run. Okay, that's it. We'll come back tomorrow. Try again. Check out the um, video from yesterday. It's right here. A couple fun packs, including a British Tops pack that I opened up. Not British. It's like United Kingdom, which is British. But, you know, it's a big island. Okay. That's going to do it. We'll come back tomorrow. Until then, everyone, have a great day.